This video is part of a U.S. History homework assignment, and if there's any errors in this, it means that I made a mistake on the assignment. I am not an expert on this subject, so if there are very noticeable errors that you notice, then uh, just keep in mind that uh, I am only a student and not a master. And with that said, let's uh, get started on this video. Okay, this presentation is going to be centered around the idea of Manifest Destiny and the Transcontinental Railroad. And to begin this uh, project, let's just uh, explain the idea of Manifest Destiny. Um, a basic way to explain Manifest Destiny is the idea that anyone could uh, conquer or take over a land... Uh, and um, there's nothing that can stop them. Or, in a better way to explain it, to take control of something, more specifically land, and there is no force that can stop you. Now, to explain this for in a visual way, um, let's have this little presentation for you. Okay, now let's start off with with me. Let's see that I'm the person that wants to conquer this native land right right here where this actor is. Um, he currently rules the land, but I want that land. And what do I do? Well, uh, nothing will stop me, so this is a proper sword. I'm not going ki to kill one for real. There. I've now taken over this land, and, well, nothing was ever stopped me. So, uh, yeah. Manifest Destiny is something that has been seen throughout history, such as the Patriots coming over on the Mayflower to the U.S., um, the, um, idea to go away from the English rule and go over to a new land where there was nothing to stop, ma stop them, so... They took over the land. Almost. Another example was would be when uh, the settlers moved west for all the resources. But the thing is, the Indians actually conquered, well, were native to the land at the time. So, what they had to do was kick the Indians out of the land. And what did they do? They took over the Indians' land. That's what they did, and, well, the Indians, though they did put up a fight, they uh, eventually lost. Now, it is difficult to pinpoint an origin to where Manifest Destiny, the idea of it, just became uh, relevant to people. Well, for me, let's just speculate, personally, I actually believe that Manifest Destiny started out with Adam and Eve uh, when they took the uh, fruit. Now, the idea is that they they would have wanted to contain this godlike power or sight, and um, there was nothing to stop them, and so they took the apple. And that is my theory for the origin of Manifest Destiny. But now, where do we bring in the Transcontinental Railroad? Well, um, it's quite simple. You see, while people wanted to go to the West, um, it was really difficult for them to travel. And so, they had to develop a system to travel from one place to the other that was much more quicker and safer than riding on a horse which took a lot longer and so to uh, explain uh, with a visual idea here is how things would go so to start this little adventure let's get inside a little minecart and uh, Let's start from village A, and we want to reach the far away land over there. This is the east, and over there is the west. So, we develop a tr uh, this railroad system. And, we are going really oddly sh through this land. Uh, 
and uh, we're going to be there, but no, we can't make it there. Why? Because, well, it takes a lot of resources to make this thing happen. And uh, what resources were the main things for this? Well, the main things to uh, make this thing happen was steel and oil. Not only were they important for the uh, train and Continental Railroad, they were also important for the industrial growth of the U.S. Oil was more, mostly used in machinery as both a fuel and a lubricant. It would make them much slicker and faster, uh, the machinery. While steel, it was used in making machinery, and it's the basic parts in the machinery, and it would make the machines a lot more durable. But that's not all. The, tr the trains needed to have water or like fuel to keep them going and cool through the system, but which is why some trains will just burn out by the time it gets to the thing. So a solution to that would be building towns away like uh, uh, near to the stops where the trains need to refuel and to explain that in a much more simpler way uh, here's this little demonstration now we are inside our little train and here we go these things demonstrate a little town or village that we go through to resupply the train that keep going without burning out so see the train is not burning out and in fact there's a lot more faster, and look it, we made it to the village that we wanted to get to. And, well, there is another thing that comes into that. Um, people now wanting to go to the west, uh, now rode the trains, and they started the village for each stop, and thus creating more societies out in the west so they went out to the west and conquered and nothing stopped them but how did the railroad impact the lives of people in the united states well it produced a much faster method of transportation than horses or cows and walking and it gave the high class non-workers a concept of machinery uh, it was able to transport resources from one city to another much more efficiently and faster. It also allowed the U.S. to grow because it allowed for a much more faster form of transportation, like messages and resources were sent through the railroads to get, fr to, get to its destination much speedier than just cabbages or uh, um, cows. Uh, industries, industries were not able to get and transport the materials they needed and sell their products ar across the nation. It also called for the need of oil and a lot more steel to build these things, um, which would then be called for industries and eventually homes. It also introduced a better management of time as things needed to be pra practical and punctual through the uh, train system. Now, how does Manifest Destiny and the Transcontinental Railroad connect to each other? Well, the Transcontinental Railroad is basically Manifest Destiny at its finest, or at its prime. You see, uh, to get from one place to another, using uh, horses and cows would have taken a lot more, much more time, and so that stopped people from uh, in having their manifest destiny influenced, but having this uh, train and railroad system allowed people to travel from one place to another without any complications, or so we think. There are still raiders and cowboys and uh, um, having the rails fall off, but that's not important here. Now, Manifest Destiny did not stop when they, f when the Americans filled the the U.S. Uh, almost completely. It, they instead of just going inside their home country, they decided to expand in other countries. Um, more specifically, they uh, helped the Cubans against the Spanish. 
Um, the Spanish were having a uh, empire set up in Cuba, and the Cubans did not like it. So the U.S. Uh, fought against Spain and they beat them or there was a truce there but the US essentially uh, was taking over Cuba and the Cubans felt like the US was a uh, like the Spanish Empire and so this is also to be considered a uh, manifest destiny although the Spanish did somewhat um, feel like a uh, force to uh, block the objective. The U.S. actually set their eyes to take over land and nothing could, well, stop them so they took over Cuba by defeating the Spanish and thus they were conquerors. And also they developed themselves as an empire at that point. And the railroads were used to transport the news of uh, this little campaign across the nation, notifying people about their manifest destiny. And so, this will most likely in, um, conclude our little discussion here, since there is, does not seem to be that much that I can think of after all my research and, um, for this. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.